fooled me on that one. Yeah. You're watching a movie, so I was like, nah, it's just 30. And then it like cut out for a minute. Everybody's in? Yeah. All right, looks like an assault. Uh, suspect, red bubble coat toward LaGrange. That's all I got. It just says Cherry and Central. <clears throat> so basically this run, we're getting called by our police department for an assault. Uh, sounds like somebody's got an injury from that assault. They're reporting uh, the victim has a bruise in the back of the head. Times the brick, the back of her head here. She's got a pretty good gush of blood coming out. So. Here. You have the light. Yep. How you doing? What's your name? Okay. Do you remember everything that happened? What happened? Can you talk to me about it? <laughs> Sounds like you were hit a couple of times. Do you remember what he hit you with? A brick. It was a brick. Okay. Do you want to go to the hospital? Are you okay with that? All right, I'm going to get an ambulance coming your way. Okay. Do you remember everything that happened? I couldn't find this. Okay. Did you know this person? Okay. All righty. We're going to take you right down the street here to St. V's to get you checked out, all right? You're doing all right. All your vitals so far are really good, all right? It looks like you've got a little bit of blood from the back of the head. You might need some stitches. They'll take a look at it further at the hospital to get you further taken care of, okay? That's yeah, like, <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> you seeing okay? Any any uh, blurred vision or anything like that? Just feel nauseated. Just feel nauseous? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this off your finger, okay? <laughs> All right. Alicia, you said you remember everything that happened, correct? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you got a pressure on her? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Yep. Yes, we currently have Medic 18 en route to our, our location. We're on scene with a 36-year-old female. She's alert and oriented times four. Chief complaint today is uh, headache. She was assaulted by another person, did not lose consciousness. Answering all questions appropriately, um, she states she was hit with a brick to the back of the head three separate times. I said no loss of consciousness, doesn't have a laceration to the back of the head, no other pain or complaints, no dizziness, uh, just complaining of a headache at this time. The bleeding is controlled. All vitals are stable. Uh, Medic 18 is arriving on scene right now. Do you have any further questions or orders with an ETA of approximately three to four minutes? Are vitals stable? That's affirmative. Vitals are stable. Answering all questions appropriately at this time. Seventeen, okay. 
You all right? Lucas County, 17 square the med. So we ended up with one patient, minor injuries. Uh, we'll get her in the ambulance, get her transported to the hospital for treatment. Engine 17 is on scene. Yeah, yes, slow down right here. Seventeen okay in the silver vehicle. Sir, were you in this car? Yes. You want any medical attention? No, I don't need any. You don't need any medical attention? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's good. How old are you? Uh, 20. 20, okay. What's your date of birth? Okay, where are you hurting at the most right now? Your, your what? Your head? The front, your back, or all over? Okay, top of your head. Do you remember the accident? Yes, they came out the closet. Okay. 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 Did, were you wearing your seatbelt? Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Please get out of the road. Yep. What kind of injuries do you have yet? Uh, no injuries in the silver car. This one, um, we have a life squad coming. She's going to go in. Um, as far as injuries go right now, um, it's hard to say. Ankle, I know for sure, and then we're not sure what else. She's altered, though. All right, so uh, we initially got here. The, the first engine gave us, assigned us to the silver car. There was, there was no injuries over there, so we came over here to assist the first engine. Um, the, the individual who was here had an altered state initially, um, had injuries to her head um, with some lacerations and cuts, as well as uh, some ankle pain. Uh, they got some pretty heavy front end damage to the vehicle. Uh, sounds like she was wearing her seatbelt and uh, airbags went off, but uh, the good news is she's answering questions appropriately right now. But obviously, uh, anytime you get in this kind of accident, um, Possibly losing consciousness or uh, further, especially with an injury to the head, can be concerning. Uh, so we got a, an advanced life squad coming or advanced uh, rig with two paramedics on the way, and uh, we got her loaded up. And uh, they're further assessing her in the back of the the ambulance, and uh, they're going to start heading to the hospital here shortly after a further assessment. What's that? I have no idea. Here. That's Sorry, I wrote it fast and sloppy. You're good, man. Thank you. I yep, no it. problem. <clears throat> cool.
So we were just uh, engine five at District Over from where we're at right now. It was just uh, given a incident of a report of a person shot. District five, you can cancel. So right now they're uh, dispatch is uh, putting the closest appropriate rig to respond to that. And obviously we're going to uh, jump the run as well and see what uh, see what injuries were sustained, if any at all. But TPD's in route as well, so we already know we have police uh, that will be there just in case uh, you know they need to de-escalate any type of situation. There goes another TPD unit. So, again, uh, Toledo Police, they're really good with their response uh, when they prioritize their calls as they do. Um, something like this, uh, a shooting weapon involved, they're uh, pretty diligent about getting there uh, in a timely manner. No transports available. We're, we're going to the county. Bees, you guys got? Yeah, I, he's going. Right. I'll double check. Right. I'm, I'm guessing with him. Lucas County, that uh, transport will be St. Bees, correct? I think so. Medic twenty five. The twenty four copies. Yep, St. Bees, brother. Down there. So it sounds like the altercation happened down the street. And upon being shot, he uh, went to this, uh, this lady's home here uh, to ask for assistance. Um, so again, we're not sure what happened before that, but um, what, you got it, brother. Yep, thank you. So. You can see his clothing right here is kind of laid out a little bit. Um, so he probably, you know, where he was assaulted. Becca, you want to come this way, sweetheart? They're going to. Engine 21, medic 25. She's probably assaulted down that way somewhere, as you can see again, see it's how things have transpired to when we arrived on scene. Um, you know, Close right there. TPD, of course, is uh, doing their thing to uh, keep the integrity of the crime scene. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.